Okay, when I fish, I designate my workstation and where I keep my stuff. This is where I keep it right next to the water's edge. I have my uh, AO cooler pack there with my shirt on it. Got my pair of pliers right here to take the hooks out. I got my ruler scale all ready to go. So if I catch a fish it, that I think is a fairly decent size, I want to take a quick measurement to make sure it's legal. Um, you got the pliers there and I'm only 10 feet away from the water's edge so the fish will not stay out of the water for long and I can toss it back in fairly fast if I decide that it's not the right um, legal size or if I'm not going to keep it. Okay, in my backpack cooler, this is an insulated cooler. Got toilet paper, some extra um, gallon, two gallon Ziploc bags, glove, got my leaders. Also, I have my, because I film, got a little portable filming stand for my um, iPhone pliers, tape, measuring tape, some extra um, liter line, four liter. All right. I also have my personal belongings, my IDs, my keys, whatever, and a little accessory kit, extra lead hooks, lures, swivels, everything I need, everything I could possibly need, and I carry everything with me on my backpack. Try to be as compact as possible. Okay, we're using the trapper hook today with a very unusual shape. We're also going to be using some brand new CHL lures that Brandon sent, uh, Landon Yamamoto sent me. Um, no name for it yet. Now you can put it through the whole thing, meaning, you know, Start it from about there and make it so it'll streamline like that, but it will make the uh, presentation go straighter. Now, in the first segment here of the lure, you can see it's like a worm shape. It's about an eighth of an inch down. On this type, I'm going to hook it like that. Now, what's this going to be? It's going to be more like a teaser. It's going to be going like that in the water. The presentation rather than straight if I went to the, the whole body so I'll be using that format today now if you whiplash this like a true whip you're gonna run a higher chance of the lead acting in a, a very unusual way more spiky motion whiplashing out and that will cause more tangles for me it causes more tangles now if you were to put your hand here, the other hand here, put it over, I put it right over my head, directly over my head, all the way back, and all the way forward like that, in one smooth arc, instead of a, a whiplash arc, I rarely get any tangles. So the way I normally whip is, I hope put one hand here, one hand here. I put it directly over my head, Nice, smooth, one piece, no snappy motion. And I find that um, it's the best way for me to whip. And that way, the uh, leader line will not come back to tangle around the main line or the lead weight. Okay, you see all that surface rippling right there? That's bait fish activity. So hopefully there's some predator fish underneath them. So, use my index, trip the bail. Now, usually when I cast, uh, I'll wait till the, the wave, like this, comes in. And when it goes out, that's when I walk out, get a little bit more distance, like about another 10 feet. Whip. Then walk back. That's how I do it. Everybody has their own style, but that's how I do it. See how I flex the tip up? Very shallow here, three to four feet of water. Some areas a little less, so I try to 
keep everything off the bottom so it won't get snagged. When the tide's higher over here, I changed my retrieval rate because the water is deeper. Uh, nothing in that one. Oh, first day of spring and nothing yet. <laughs> very shallow here so I, I like to go up and down on my rod tip because it forces the uh, lead egg off the bottom instead of catching it's very shallow here so I have to cast and jig the way I see fit otherwise I'm gonna hang up a lot and I'm gonna lose a lot of my lures Now when you start picking up seaweed like that, that means you're bouncing it off the bottom. You need to in increase your retrieval rate or retrieve uh, or change the way you're retrieving it because that's not a good sign. Another little trick I like to use is I like to trip the bale the moment, just a split second before the lead hits. Days like this, when the sun's up, you can see it. Other times, you just have to feel it. The reason why you do that is because if you wait to after the lead hits and then start taking the slack line, by then it'll be too late. Your lead weight will be on the reef and you're going to lose everything. So what I try to do is I try to trip it before that. Trip. See, the line is straight out when this happens. So it hits the surface and it doesn't have time to settle on the bottom, less likely you're gonna lose your lead and your lure. Makes perfect financial sense. Okay, 